Visiting physician Dr. J.S. Giltner gave this description of the hospital in the year 1868. In the summer of 1866, several acres of ground, shaded by a beautiful fir grove, were enclosed with a high board fence and well provided with swings and various other fixtures for gymnastic exercise, for the benefit and amusement of the inmates, also games of ball, drafts, and quoits were introduced, all of which is calculated to divert their attention and produce a soothing effect on the mind. The following named articles constitute the diet. Meats, beef, pork, mutton, and salmon, both fresh and salted. Vegetables, potatoes, cabbage, turnips, onions, tomatoes, parsnips, lettuce, beets, beans, peas, etc. Drink, coffee and tea. Fruit of various kinds in season and dried when out of season. Bread of the best quality is supplied in abundance. Sugar and molasses are furnished at all the meals. The building is divided off into wards, each one of which contains a water closet and a bathroom with hot and cold water for bathing purposes, constantly kept in good order. This is a great convenience and greatly adds to the health of the patients. The whole building is constantly kept scrupulously clean and thoroughly ventilated. The dining rooms, kitchen, and bakehouse are well supplied with all the necessary fixtures and the most improved utensils are provided all of which are kept neatly and in proper order. The dispensary connected with the place is always supplied with a good stock of standard drugs and is always kept in excellent condition. Sewing and knitting and ironing is the employment of the females. They manufacture the greater part of the clothing worn by the males and all that is worn by themselves, affording them light employment and relieving the monotony of their confinement. A limited number of convalescent males is employed at different kinds of outdoor work on the farm and in the gardens. It would be a great advantage if more were so employed, as it would hasten their restoration. But the limited number of attendants will not admit it. The clothing worn by the males is of Oregon manufacture, of good quality, and that of the females is calicoes, and all are constantly kept neat and clean. The supply of water comes from an excellent spring, which is thrown into a large reservoir. The reservoir is on a high tower built expressly for this purpose, with hose attached of sufficient length to discharge water on any part of the building.